Hi there and welcome to Ula Tea Leaf Reading. My name is Lenore and I'm going to be reading your tea leaves today. Hopefully the universe has something wonderful to tell us. <laughs> and if it doesn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> but usually it is something pretty, pretty good. Okay, so like every other time, I'm going to start with the cup facing the right. I'm going to turn it three times counterclockwise. Then we're going to tap it three times. One, two, three. All right. Okay, so if this is your first video that you're watching or if you are returning, um, I'm going to ask you to please like, subscribe, or comment. I really appreciate when I get feedback from you guys and I really don't want you to miss any videos, especially if you're, you know, really, like if you enjoy them, if they seem to resonate with you. Um, yeah, the I'm trying to put one out every day. Sometimes I skip a, a day or two, but... Usually it's been every day. Okay, so let's get this. There we go. Um, <laughs> get it in focus and in frame. That helps, huh? Um, okay, so immediately I'm looking at this and that looks like a cat head to me. Like just very, very apparently a cat figure, feline figure. So, um, I don't really know if that's going to be the focus because, uh, let's see, right here in the middle, usually this is, it's not always, sometimes, this is usually going to be our focus in the center of the cup here, right down at the bottom. These are usually, the ones on the side are usually events, aspects, um, the you know just details to kind of help define the scenario a little bit more and whoever's involved so this cat figure i don't think that this is you i think that this is probably somebody that's going to be involved in um a key part of whatever's going on and that's probably well and that is because that's um, how I interpret it because it is such a large and prominent formation. Okay. And I just kind of want to turn that one just to see what else it might look like because, um, oftentimes one image can be turned and we can see other qualities of that person or event in the different sides of well, that, that one's interesting looking. It almost looks like a little witch with a hat riding a goat. <laughs> really, it does. And then, I don't know. In my mind, it's like the moon right there. So, that's really cool. That's a really interesting image. So, okay, so on this side, we have a cat. All right, so this is definitely going to be somebody who is a very um, calculated, wow, this is really going out of focus easily. Okay, so this is really somebody who's a very calculated person. Okay, they're definitely always keeping their eyes on what's going on. They're definitely um, very aware of, you know, the the inner workings of things they're definitely let's see I won't say that they're always like looking for prey animals but they're definitely not unaware of people that are maybe a little more vulnerable or um just how do I say this without, I just, I don't think that, I don't think that this person is looking to prey on somebody necessarily, but I think they're aware. Okay. They're not oblivious. Let's just say, um, they know, they know how to make things work in their favor for sure. Okay. And then, so we turn this over this way and now it looks like a kind of like a, probably like a witch figure riding on an animal that looks like a goat. So that imagery brings up, you know, somebody that is maybe 
uh, kind of an outsider person. Um, they definitely are not um, involved in like the regular um, parts of like social groupings of people. They are usually uh, maybe a religious worker, holy person, um, somebody who works in um, healing or um, some kind of esoteric magic or, um, you know, things like this have esoteric knowledge. Uh, they might be some kind of um, herbal practitioner or something like that. I don't see a hag or a witch figure and think of anything bad. I don't think of anything like I would say demonic or satanic or anything like that. I don't look at the goat as being anything like that either. I think the goat is definitely for, in, for my collective, like my knowledge of like collective symbols and the archetypes and stuff. A goat is a, a symbol of refined knowledge. Um, but also just like a very primal knowledge, um, endurance, um, somebody that survives, somebody that um, is uh, very um, protective of their, their small tribe, okay? They climb the sides of mountains, they survive in cold weather, um, they give of themselves, um, you know, and they can survive on um, things that most other beings can't. So they're just really very strong. Okay, so you put these two together and we have somebody that is maybe coming into your life as somebody that is um, maybe a mentor, maybe somebody that you've begun to get to know through friendship or maybe like a work person, but they're starting to reveal things to you that are making, it's making you open your eyes to um, maybe things that have been lacking, maybe they're spiritual concepts, maybe um, it's interior, interior work, maybe it is, um, you know, just uh, even creative things. Maybe they've recommended some books to you that have really been moving or, you know, I don't know, YouTube videos <laughs> or <laughs> something on Facebook, some news articles, I something like that, okay? Um, and I think that this has really invigorated you to start um, searching, at, searching for and seeking out... Um, Things that are impassioning you, things that feel like you connect with. I think that you maybe have been looking for um, some kind of deeper meaning. And I think that this relationship that you're having with this person, friendship, um, dating, maybe this is somebody that you're getting serious with. I don't know for sure, but I think that they are definitely... Um, they're not the catalyst for this change because you've already had, you've already had the interest, right, to, um, you've had the interest to seek some of this stuff out and have this kind of, um, this period of, tra you know, trans transmuting, um, parts of yourself, refining parts of yourself, finding things that are, have meaning, um, but you know, in that intent that for the change that you wanted, this person has come into your life. Okay. And, um, I'm not saying that they're your teacher or they they should be like a guru or anything like that. Um, but I think that you definitely are getting a good vibe of being receptive to the information they do want to share with you. Okay, and I think that's important. We have many people in our lives who can teach us things and um, many people will come into our lives at points when we, you know, have that little opening and um, we're looking for something to just, you know, give us some more um, energy, motivation to go to places um that we maybe didn't know we had in ourselves or um, 
seek out things that topics and subjects and stuff that we just didn't even know it existed really right so um yeah I think that's kind of what is going on there now this one's interesting this looks like two figures here oops there we go this one looks like two figures here it almost looks like they are interlocked like there's some kind of it, what I think of are two birds in the air when they kind of, it looks like they're fighting. Um, they grab, they grab each other's feet and they kind of swirl down to earth. And it's really actually, uh, um, they, they kind of free fall a little bit. They, it's actually a mating ritual and it looks very, it's very dramatic, right? It's like, Mutual destruction is happening for the sake of, uh, you know, um, free, free euros and re and procreation. <laughs> so, um, I think that there's definitely some, there's some very intense love stuff probably coming up in your life as well. I think that these two, um, these two emerging things often come together. I think it's not uncommon that suddenly you have this like just you've been shaken out of kind of a a restful state <laughs> or you know you've just been going you just have not been inspired and then all of a sudden you get kind of going you get that your blood flowing and then you know, you're finding things that you're really interested in and doing. And then all of a sudden, your love life starts picking up as well. Maybe you've met somebody new. Maybe you're already married or um, have a partner. And really, the, you know, the intensity of being interested in things and putting your heart into things, it flows through all parts of your life. So I think that you just really are doing this dance of um, a great love as well. I think that you're just like kind of, you know, go, you're really having the beginning of a very um, intense cycle in your life. There's, I feel like there's a lot of creative potential happening. Um, I think that this isn't always only just, you know, love and and courtship and those you know amorous type of things going on it could it's also creativity you know the um new projects new mediums um new things just coming coming into your into your mind and wanting to be put down um on paper so to speak I also see that there's a bird flying up here. It's in flight. It's flying towards the left, which sometimes I would say is going towards the past. Usually if it's facing this way, that indicates to me it's from the past. But because this bird is up on the rim so high, I think that this is about spirit, about um, higher self, your guardian angel, um, your interior landscape. Oh, let's see. There we go. Your interior landscape. And I think it's really flying up here into that almost metaphysical realm, um, spiritual realm, um, higher self. So I think that the that this is a good indicator that um, there's, there's a lot of vigor, a lot of um, freedom, a lot of just intense creative force happening. There's a lot of... Um, that energy flowing through you okay now I kind of want to look at I want to go down here and look at the middle because I haven't really looked at that yet I'm not doing good with focusing on this one I have the camera set up different and it just interesting there we go I'm 
Now, this one looks like, to me, it looks like another bird in flight, but this one looks almost more like a duck, like a duck. It also looks like its mouth is open. Oh, and here we go again. Now, maybe I can just bring it right there. Okay, so it looks like it's in flight. Okay, and it looks like its mouth is open. There's a lot of lines coming out. Those almost look like sound. Like it makes me think of like a cart, like a comic book almost, or you know what I'm saying? Like where it looks like there, it's the lines of sound coming out. So it makes me think that there's a lot of like a lot of excitable, loud kind of exclamating. Um, I don't think that this is like fighting or a warning. I don't think it's either of those. Okay, so I think that this is kind of just being very excited about what's going on. I think you've been very vocal about it. I think you're talking about the stuff that you're really interested in. I think that you um, are definitely just really excited to share that interest with other people in your life. And I think that's just, you know, I think that's a great thing. I think that there's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't look like it's causing any problems. Um, I get the impression that this event that's going on, this thing that you're having happen, is allowing you to feel like you're connecting with people like maybe new people maybe people you've known but like now you're connecting in a different way okay and I think that you're in some ways like realizing that you're finding your people a little bit oh I wish this would just yeah I think that it feels like you're really finding your people or person or you know you're connecting. I feel like you feel pretty confident in your desire to seek um, more information about these things. I think that you're under, you feel, I feel like there has been a sense of intuitive understanding going on too. So I feel like that there's like a confidence in your newer interests. Okay, and I think that it's com they're coming naturally to you. So you're feeling like you want to go out and talk about it with people, share your, um, you know, your new, your new profound <laughs> um, interests and just um, exhilaration and, you know, all of that uh, with everybody around you. And I think that it's, I think people are digging it. I think it's a, it's been a good experience for them and for you. And I think it's been good for your love life too. I think it's helping you balance out some of the stagnant feelings that you're having that were definitely um, probably affecting all, all aspects of yourself. So I think that um, it really looks like This one's interesting here. This one looks like a finger pointing at something. Yeah. Oh, there's my hair. Get off of there. Yeah, I think that it really, it just, I think that you're really hyper focused on some of this stuff. And, um,. I think that you're just going to find some really profound um, insights for yourself. I think that, um, you know, I think that something that might be important for you to do is to document some of the things that you're learning because it feels like it's coming on really fast. And I feel like there's not, I'm not going to say it's like a manic energy, but it's definitely like a very, um, very intense happening quickly um, a lot of thoughts, information, a lot of, um, associations happening. So I think that 
uh, taking the time to write some of the stuff down or like make little notes or whatever you need to do, whatever your process is, I think that this would be a good time to do some of that documenting for yourself so you can go back and look at it later on. Um, other than that, I think, you know, I think you're, it's, it looks like you're in a good place and I, I personally just super look forward to those parts of my life when I find something that really inspires me and, um, you know, you have people in your life that, um, share that interest and that, you know, just really excited energy. So... Um, yeah, I think it's great. I think this was a fun message and um, definitely I am so honored to um, be able to spend some time with you and um, to read your leaves. I just really think it's so cool to um, be able to um, relay these messages and to receive them. And um, so I totally appreciate your time. Uh, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. I want to hear what you're thinking. I want to hear if any of these videos resonate with you. I'd love for you to keep coming back and watching videos and, um, you know, just letting me know how you're doing as well. Um, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, um, and here, obviously. So thank you so much. Again, my name is Lenore and this is Ula Tea Leaf Readings.